Hello students, you are warmly welcome to my YouTube channel Education WMH. In this video, I am going to discuss Grade 8 Mathematics third term test paper for the upcoming term test. I invite you to subscribe my channel and watch more videos. First question In the number pattern of the multiples of 15, starting from 15 and written in ascending order, find the general term. So, if we write the pattern here 15, then uh, the second multiple is 30, 45. This is the way we are writing the sequence. So, the general term is 15n. Second question. The mass of a concrete pillar is 2 ton 40 kilogram. Find the total mass of 6 such concrete pillars. Uh, 20, uh, 22 ton. 2 ton 40 kilogram. If I write here tons kilograms 2 ton 40 kilograms should be multiplied by 6. Then 6 times uh, 0, 0, 6 times 4 is 240. We can keep this amount here. The maximum amount that we can keep in the kilograms column is 999 as 1 ton equal to 1000 kilograms. Uh, 6 times 2 is 12. So the answer is 12 tons 240 kilograms. Then third question, find the value of minus five, uh, 1 to the power 5 times 3 to the power 3. In a negative number, if the power is an even power, the answer is, answer gets a positive value. So uh, this is an odd power. So the answer gets a negative value. The value is minus 1 multiplied by 3 to the power 3 means 3 into 3 into 3. The value is 9, 27. So, minus 27 is the final answer. Then, question number 4. Find the perimeter of the figure below. We have to add the surrounding lengths of this figure. 7 plus 7 plus 6 plus then 4.5 plus 4.5 is 9. Then the answer is uh, 29 centimeters. Then question number 5. I will write here. At an angle of magnitude 35 degrees, find the magnitude. First question, find the magnitude of the complementary angle. Complementary means uh, the sum is 90 degrees. So we can find the complementary angle by 90 minus 35. The value is 45, 55, 55 degrees. Then second part, find the magnitude of the supplementary angle. Supplementary means uh, the sum becomes 180. 180 degrees minus 35 degrees. The value is 145 degrees. Then question number 6. What is the actual length shown in 8 cm by the scale of 1 to 50,000? 1 to 50,000 means 1 cm represents 50,000 centimeters. If we convert this to meters, it becomes 500 meters. Uh, we can divide uh, by 100 as 1 meter equal to 100 centimeters. So, 500 meters means half kilometers. 1 centimeter represents half kilometers. From 8 centimeters, half of this, 4 centimeters. Question number 7. A circular surface shaped piece of wood was cut into four pieces of the same shape as shown in the figure. What is the geometric name of the surface shape of one piece? Uh, 
this is a set of the circle set of the circle then question number 8 find the value first one minus 9 minus plus 11 we can convert this subtraction into a addition by taking the additive inverse of the second directed number that is minus 11 so we can add the two directed numbers the answer is minus 20 the addition of two negative numbers becomes a negative number then second part minus 12 divide by minus 4 The division of two negative numbers gets a positive answer. Twelve divided by four is three, so plus three is the answer. Then uh, question number nine. First part. What is the number of bilateral symmetrical axes of a rhombus? In a rhombus, we have two bilateral bilateral symmetrical axes. then second part what is the order of rotational symmetry of a regular pentagon regular pentagon we have five symmetrical axes and also the order of uh, rotational symmetry is five question number 10 the value of the four exterior angles of a square are 55 degrees 70 degrees x degrees and 115 degrees find the value of value that x can take the sum of the four in exterior angles of the square is 360 degrees so we can write the equation x plus uh 55 plus 70 plus 115 degrees is equal to 360 degrees x plus here the addition is 240 equal to 360 degrees then x equals 360 degrees minus 240 the value is 120 degrees question number 11 write two examples of platonic solids there are five platonic solids cube regular tetrahedron then icosahedron dodecahedron and octahedron you can name two of them question number 12 find the square root of 324 using the prime factors uh, we have to divide this 324 with uh, by prime factors the first prime number is 2 2 times 162 then again by 2 as it is divisible by 2 81 now we have to take the next prime number 3 3 times 27 again by 3 3 times 9 then 3 times 3 then 3 times 1 until you get 1 here you have to repeat the division then we can write 324 as a product 324 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 then um, i can separate uh, this as 2 into 3 into 3 to the power 2 then Uh, the square root of three hundred twenty-four is equal to square root of this one. Two times three times three to the power two. Then I can remove the square and the square root. Then the answer is two times three times three. The value is eighteen. Question number thirteen. We are given this thirty percent employees working in an organization are male. If the number of female employees in the organization is forty-two, 
find the total number of employees as there are 30 percent of uh, male employees this um, percentage of uh, female employees is uh, 70 percent so we can write 70 over 100 of total is equal to 40 then 10 over 100 is equal to 42 which is um, 42 divided by 10 7 42 divided by 7 then to take the uh, total we have to take 100 out of 100 then 42 divided by 7 multiplying by 10 this is 10 over 100 7 times 1 7 times 6 the answer is 60 the total number of employees is 60 question number 14 write two plain figures that can be used to create a regular tessellation uh, square equilateral triangle and regular hexagon these are the three plane figures that we can uh, use to create a regular tessellation you can use two of them then question number 15 find the probability of getting a number less than 4 when a regular tetrahedron with its face numbered 1 to 4 is rolled there are uh, three numbers less than 4 here so out of 4, uh, 3 numbers are there. So 3 over 4 is the probability. Then uh, question number 16. Represent the inequality minus 3 less than x less than or equal 0 on a number line. I will draw a number line like this. Minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0. Then 1, enough. Then the ending points are minus 3 and 0. Then uh, it says uh, x less than or equal 0. So you have to shade this circle. Then uh, between uh, minus 3 and 0, the region should be uh, shaded like this. Question number 17. Write down the direction of A as seen from O. Uh, the uh, direction of A from O is uh, tw 20 degrees. We have to find the angle between south direction and OA line. That is 20 degrees. 20 degrees east of south. Or we can write in symbolically S. 20 degrees E. Question number 18. Find the capacity of a cuboid shaped container of length, width and height are 4.1 meters, 0 0.6 meters and 4 meters respectively. To find the volume we have to multiply 4.5 into 0 0.6 into 4 meters. This is in cubic meters. Uh, the value becomes 10.8 uh, 10.8 cubic meters. To take the capacity we have to convert this into liters. We know that 1 cubic meter equal to 1000 liters. So we have to multiply this by 1000. The decimal point uh, goes 3 places to the right side. Then the answer is uh, 10,800 in liters. Question number 19. Calculate the time in Los Angeles, USA when the time in Sri Lanka plus 5 and half, that is the time zone, is uh, 6.55 uh, p.m. on 2022 to 22. Los Angeles city time, the same time zone is given as minus 8. If I draw a small diagram like this, this is minus 8 time zone, this is 0 and this one is plus 5, plus 5 and half. So, uh, the time difference is uh, three, uh, 13 hours 
30 minutes. So we have to subtract uh, that amount from the time in Sri Lanka. Time in Sri Lanka is 6.55 pm. If I uh, convert this to 24 hour clock, it becomes 17 hours, 25, 8, 18 hours, 18 hours, 25 minutes, 18 hours, 25 minutes. So I have to subtract 13 hours, 30 minutes from that. Then uh, we have to take uh, 1 hour to this side, then it becomes 85, 85 minus 30 is 55. Then here the remaining is 17, 17 minus 13, 4 hours. So the time can be written as uh, 4.55 a.m. on the same day, 2022 to 22. Then question number 20. The difference between two consecutive square numbers from 1 till 50 is a square number. Write those number, two square numbers. The difference between two consecutive square numbers. The numbers are 25 and 16. The difference is 9. 9 also and square numbers. So 25 and 16 are the square numbers.